Hello everybody, my name is Rick Dangerous and welcome back to my Terraria Let's Play series. This is a single player hardcore character playing on a master mode uh, world. Uh, in the last episode we saved up just enough coins to buy the mini shark uh, gun and we moved the arms dealer into the desert so we get the cheaper rate on the mini shark so we have just enough to buy it. Um, I want to make a platform to fight the first boss and it's almost nighttime so I'd like to do that uh, very soon and get that ready to go. Uh, we do have a full set of tungsten armor and we have some good movement accessories uh, so now's as, as good a time as any to, f to fight the the first boss. I think what I'll do is I'll just um, build a little platform right coming off the house here and this will be where I fight it. I do need just a little bit more uh, gold coins so I can buy a bunch of musket balls. Um, so I do want to possibly explore underground just a little bit more to get a little bit more gold. So I'm just going to make a... Okay, so I don't have double jump. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Uh, so it is going to be a little tricky fighting the eye without the double jump. I might make a second layer to this platform. Let's go ahead and get some more wood. Okay. We'll make some more platforms here. And I definitely want to make a campfire. Okay. And let's see how high my jump is. So it's a little bit higher than that. I might be able to jump to there in a single jump. Let's see. Yeah, so that's going to be the height of the second platform. And I want to make sure I plant a sunflower down here as well. So that I run faster. Okay, so let's go check our... We have a seeds chest here. No sunflowers yet. So we may have to go loot a sunflower or collect one off the ground. Uh, I do, like I said, I need just a little bit more coins. Uh, so I think I will go back underground and see if I can get some coins from chests or a pot. And as usual, I'm going to kind of plug up this uh, hole above me. So it's 3 p.m. We made a uh, watch in the last episode, and that means I have about four minutes yet until nighttime when I want to fight the eye. If I don't find a chest with some coins in or something to sell, I'll just end up having to sell like a gold bar from from one of my chests or a couple platinum bars. We'll see. Okay, it looks like there's... Okay, so there's tungsten up here. So we could always convert those into bars and sell those as well.
I think I'll just have to stop here because I do have quite a run to get to the uh, to the arms dealer to buy the mini shark. So let's see what I can do here. Uh, let's uh, let's just sell some either platinum bars or tungsten bars. I'm gonna craft these. Actually, I think the ore itself sells better than the bars. We'll see. I could also sell a diamond if I wanted to. So I'm going to bring the uh, suspicious looking eye with me. And I want to make sure I have uh, some potions for the battle. I have a regen potion. Iron skin. And I have the a food item. It doesn't look like I have a swiftness potion. That's fine. And I did want to pick up a sunflower if I can find one. So let's go find the uh, arms dealer. And we will purchase this mini shark. And like I said, unfortunately I don't have a double jump item. That usually comes in handy when uh, fighting the first boss. Okay. So the mini shark, we're a little short on cash, but we can sell some things. Okay, so we have the mini shark now, but we're going to need lots of bullets. sell um, three platinum bars and buy more bullets that's probably enough um, but just to be safe I'm gonna buy more All right, that's definitely going to be plenty of bullets. So let's teleport back home. And we want to make sure we have our frog out. We're going to be using the mini shark with regular musket balls. I have the eye of uh, the suspicious looking eye ready and two potions as well as the uh, food item. So I think we're ready to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and organize my inventory a little bit. And I don't need this flare right now. I'll actually put that in this cell chest. Okay. Let's put a campfire up here. I didn't find a sunflower, unfortunately. So I'm going to run to the left here and see if I can find one. Okay, so we're at corruption, so there's not going to be a sunflower over here. Alright, well I think we're just going to have to fight the eye without the, uh, without the sunflower. Unless I can get past this corruption and find one quickly. We'll give it a shot. I do have plenty of time. I don't need to start the fight right at 7 o'clock. It's not going to be a matter of running out of uh, night time. So it's probably going to be worth it to spend a little extra time and find a sunflower. There we, there's one. Okay, I'm really glad I spent the time to do that. So now let's teleport home. And let's plant the sunflower. That's going to give us the happiness buff. Okay, so a little extra speed. 
and I'm gonna take my buffs and I'm gonna give it a shot here make sure I have health potions ready and here we go like I said I usually have a double jump item before I fight the first boss but it's not necessary especially since I have a, a balloon puffer fish which increases my jump height but having that extra double jump really does help simple. That's why I like to wait for the mini shark before I attempt to fight him. And we got a uh, shield. Okay, let's replace this with the shield. So now we can do a dash effect. If I had uh, another suspicious looking eye, I would fight him again. But I don't believe we have the materials we need to make one. Yeah, we don't have any lenses. All right, so that was a success. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to sell <clears throat> things that I'm not gonna use, which would be these arrows, these vanity items, and the trophy. Um, and then the demonite ore, we can go ahead and uh, I could either sell that or I could use it to make a bow. I think I will make the bow. And I'll use that to fight the next boss. Okay. That's a demon bow. Let me go ahead and put the extra in here. Uh, so I will... I will explore the surface to look for uh, fallen stars tonight because I need stars to make jester arrows. Okay. So now we have 14 gold. See how I'm doing on fishing. Where is my piggy bank? I'm gonna buy another piggy bank eventually to keep at the house. I'm just gonna set it down here. So we do have some bait. Um, I guess I will run to each ocean and attempt to collect fallen stars. Like I said, I'm going to need those for jester arrows. And for arrows, I'm going to need wood and stone, which I have plenty of. Well, I don't have plenty of wood, uh, but I can go collect some now. So yeah, objectives right now is to collect wood and fallen stars. And as always, don't die. And 
and actually um, fighting the first boss is a good source of gold um, so any lenses that I pick up are a bonus as well because I can use those to craft a boss summoner so it is 11 o'clock I think now's a good time to run full speed as far as possible and I will pick up some more uh, musket balls while I'm here just so I have them oh and it looks like I can buy the desert pylon so I'll go ahead and do that I'll place that here as a way to teleport back So really for progression in the game, uh, the next boss would be my next objective, which is the Eater of the Worlds, that's the worm, that you fight in the corruption. I would like to get a double jump item that would really increase my mobility. But uh, yeah, to fight the next boss I'm definitely going to need Jester Arrows, which requires Fallen Star. I'm actually surprised I haven't been finding more fallen stars. I'll go ahead and collect this moon glow. So I have until 4.30 a.m. to collect fallen stars. Here's my fishing spot. So I made it to the ocean and now I'm going to head back this way. So I haven't actually explored over here yet. Again, since it's late in the night, I just want to cover as much ground as possible and get as many fallen stars as I can. Okay, I have about 30 seconds left of 
Nighttime. And I think that may be it. So no more stars. And I should probably be at the ocean soon. Yep. Uh, let's see. So uh, fishing, you get a buff, I think, between 4.30 and 7.30. So this is a very good time to go ahead and go fishing a little bit. So let me go ahead and uh, do some fishing. I like to carry my fishing gear in the piggy bank so that I always have it. Just throw some chum in the water. And we're just going to go fishing for a little bit. <clears throat> uh, for those of you watching, uh, feel free to jump ahead in the video. If you don't want to watch me fish for you know, five minutes. I'm probably going to fish until I run out of bait. And I will uh, go ahead and eat some sashimi for the well-fed buff to increase my fishing power just a little bit. I should have actually eaten that um, sashimi while I was running across the world because it makes you run a little bit faster when you're well fed. I have enough of it that I can probably eat it forever for the entire rest of the playthrough, especially if I keep fishing now and then. I don't believe I've found the angler yet, so we should be finding him soon. It is nice to fish in the morning, though, when you get this fishing buff. And I did find a wooden crate and an iron crate. So we got some master bait out of the iron crate, which is nice so we can keep fishing a little longer. The Dryad has arrived. She will allow us to buy sunflowers now. So next steps, um, I believe I need to make an arena for the Edo of the Worlds boss so I can fight the second boss. I'll probably do that underground. Um, some people prefer to do that boss above ground, uh, but he kind of enrages and spits a lot more. Uh, and even though you have more mobility above ground, I feel like it's not worth um, doing that. I like to open up a space underground and attempt the battle down there. Uh, the key is to just have enough defense uh, to sustain the damage that he gives and uh, the jester arrows for piercing so you can pierce all parts of his body. So I have three more bait left, so I'm just going to fish a little bit longer. It's very efficient, like I said, fishing in the morning when you get this huge fishing buff. You don't actually see it. Uh, but the stats are there in the game. You get you get better fishing power early in the day. And that's another reason why I like having a watch on me at all times. Like knowing, knowing what time it is is very important. Let's see what's in these two wooden crates. Obsidian skin potion. That's going to come in handy. I would like to get a gravitation potion. Having a horseshoe in a uh, hardcore mode character is very important because you don't want to die from fall damage and the horseshoe just uh, alleviates that completely. Let's 
So again, fishing isn't the funnest thing to watch, but uh, when you're playing master mode um, and you're playing a hardcore character, you just you kind of have to do it. You need to uh, play safe, and fishing has the biggest reward for lowest risk in the entire game. Let's open two more wooden crates. Precise to Sanumi in a bottle. That's exactly what we wanted. We wanted a double jump item, and we got it. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, calming potion. Um, so yeah, now we can double jump. That's going to help a lot. Um, let's see. We got the balloon puffer fish. Uh, let's see if I want to replace him with anything. I guess I'll replace the frog legs with the balloon puffer fish. And I still have two more bait, so I might as well fish while I'm here. There's really nothing else I think that I could get from the ocean that I really need, other than maybe gravity potion that would come out of crates. But really, all the items, so I am out of bait right now. Yeah, so um, that's uh, really good. Um, let's go ahead and grab our piggy bank and we'll teleport home. I'm going to do a quick stack here. And let's uh, turn all this fish into food. And at the cooking pot, we can cook the shrimp. Okay, let's do another quick stack. Awesome. So we have all this food. We're, we're going to have food for a long time. Uh, let's see. So I think exploring underground may be our next... Uh, our next task um, and danger sense potions are going to be important for that. Let me go ahead and clean up my inventory first. I'm going to get rid of the accessories that I don't necessarily need right now. And I'm going to put the fishing supplies back in the piggy bank. Okay. Alright, so I think next steps are going to be to explore the underground and just try to get better items, um, more heart uh, crystals for more health, things like that. So I have a danger sense potion, hunter potion will help. Um, let's see if there's anything else that I want to take down there. I think that's it. I could take a calming potion too to decrease the spawn rate of enemies. That'll work. And I'll, I think I'm done with the musket for now. I may sell that eventually. All right. Oh, and I collected a lot of fallen stars. So we're gonna be turning those into jester arrows eventually. Cool. Well, I think, uh, let's see here. I think this might be a good time to end this episode, just short and sweet. We killed the first boss. Uh, we our, our inventory is all organized, ready to go, so that we can uh, go exploring um, safely with hunter potions and danger sense potions. I'm trying to decide where I'm going to explore it at next episode. I could either go in the jungle, but that's that's really risky this er, th th right now. Um, I feel like I don't have enough defense right now to, to mess around in the jungle. I could continue down below my base, look for heart crystals down here. Um, and just to kill time at some point, I could start building the arena for the uh, next boss fight, which is going to be over here in the Corruption Underground. So there's, there's a lot to do. Um, 
But uh, I think this is a good time to wrap this up. So I will see you all in the next episode.